Yo, what's up guys, today we're going to play some Royal Chaos. Uh, I'm still playing on with uh, Draenei version, but I have no idea. Maybe I should have been playing the old version. Because the Draenei is are good, that they got added up. Uh, but there are some bugs that not they haven't appeared in previous versions, I know why. For example, there are heroes that are going not where they're supposed to be going. Uh, there are units overstacking that also like AI, yeah, AI got messed up by the map editor a little bit. So it's like we sacrifice the Draenei and the recent changes, but we suffer from the AI or we play the old version, but we don't have like uh, new stuff, which is pretty fun to play as well. So, so far I'm gonna be playing this version, but if I'm gonna see any more problems, I will probably switch back to 3.2. I also saw his uh, Patreon and it was said that he's working on 3.4 so 3.4 might uh, be out at some point and yeah, we're gonna might see it like sometime the next version uh, even after this and maybe he, he has fixed some things so if I'll further ado, let's go I'm the host, we pick all random uh, trolls okay I really want to go for the turtle riders, but I think it might be a bad idea. I know what to go for. Uh, yeah, this gift of Zandalar is a kind of two way, two way to go thing. I, I kind of want to go for the voodoo experts. Yeah, I feel like voodoo experts is a pretty good thing to go for. Throws a very good late game, so I'm, I feel like I'm gonna go for yeah super super late game, you know, with this. My spells uh, will have amplified effects such as plus bounce, uh, hex duration, and extra target for fork lightning. And my base will have like uh, more mana regeneration, and also like better spells. I mean uh, lesser cooldowns, my bad. On the middle we have a Tauren with a tier 1 range upgrade. On the bottom we have a Dryad. Very uh, sexually appealing Dryad if you ask me. Wearing a hood. Definitely looks smarter than a normal Dryad cap. And here we have a Sorcerer. Wait, Sork is a normal unit, no? No, I think it's not. So everyone chose to buff their units for some reason like tier 1 units. Sorks probably the best. Dryad and... Wait a second. Oh wait, Dryad is a caster. Yeah, Dryad is a caster. Okay, yeah, I thought it was a... I thought it was like an archer buff uh, replaced. Yeah, I, I don't like this. Um, this, this. This one and this one are okay. But like the torrents with range units, it's kind of disgusting. Like it's bad disgusting, it's not like good disgusting, it's actually bad disgusting because it's very weak in my opinion. There's a gold mine above us and a human. Human probably the strongest, but I don't know, maybe not actually. I don't know if I can go for the middle dominance, probably not, so we are not going to even try to go for it. Instead, let's grab maybe a gold mine, yeah. Maybe a gold mine. There's a lumber mule and a war mule on the bottom as well. Yep, human is rushing uh, middle, and I'm rushing human, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good being this way, in my opinion. He has now to, instead of upgrading middle barrack, he has to now react to my tier 2 to him, so yeah. That's a pretty good thing. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of even thinking about going for the masonry right now, to be honest. Like, maybe a masonry is the way to go. Because I'm gonna hold this gold mine for a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, how about I go for masonry already? I feel like it can be a free game with the masonry. Everyone is going for the middle, so yeah. Uh, yeah, Torin, actually Torin with these range units will dominate middle, I'm pretty sure about it. So my, yeah, my middle barrack will suffer. 
I feel like the plan is going to be to go for double mercenary and then upgrade middle barrack. We'll see. We'll see what like, also like blue does. If he upgrades his barrack on me or not, you know. Blue did not upgrade his middle barrack. I feel like he's going for mercenary or full side lanes like me. We'll see about that, yeah. So Sorks have um, Devour Magic, which works extremely well against Torrents with their Rallying Cry. I like it a lot. Also works well with Knight Elves buffs. Do I have any buffs? I feel like I have none of the buffs, honestly. Like, I have zero buffs, literally. Yeah, they can maybe Devour Magic from Hex. Yeah, I forced him to upgrade uh, there, basically. Now they'll also upgrade on the middle, okay. Uh, that's uh, fair enough. And they're having zero upgrades, all of them. So maybe I can compete for the middle after my masonry is up. I kind of want to push few upgrades so my my gold mine will remain in my hands for the time being and I have like a maximum income from that. Also to defend myself against uh, blue on the bottom. It would be a pretty amazing thing to do. Might also upgrade the uh, bottom barracks instead of the middle barrack because I'm safe. Torren will not ever reach me because there is already night elf. We have two upgrades by the way. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm waiting if there is a wave coming. Cause I can't afford to cast spells, so yeah. To bounce back, easier. I need to utilize my mana regeneration. Is it mana or it's mana? <laughs> my Russian roots telling me it's it's mana. Like something in between mana. I don't know man. Yeah, all of them have a tier 2 middle. <laughs> because of that, like, none of them is actually getting anything out of it, I think. Yeah, let's just protect my neutral building on top, and that's it. Like, both of them. Pressure green more. Since we chose to go after him. Night of is going for a lot of upgrades. Yeah, I don't know. Middle, is, is it like middle or it's a bottom? Is it bottom or is it middle? I am very confused right now, if you ask me. I kinda wanna try to go for the mind control. I feel like mind control is pretty fun to play, but it's like a very, 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 very late game strat, you know? Super late game strat. There are a lot of human units. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing my lane. Well, guess I'm fine on the bottom. Yeah, after this upgrade, we're just gonna upgrade the barracks. It's really hard to say on which lane though. I don't have very good amount of gold. So human going for the middle actually paid off, even without upgrades. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's mostly go from the middle. What if I indeed don't compete for the middle in general? What if I go for the bottom? I feel like, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Now nah, let's go for it. Um, and then upgrade also on the bottom, probably.
fuck. It didn't, yeah, I, I had to cast it on cavalry, like cavalry is the most damage dealing. So... I have to up a little bit. Come on. Come on. Fuck, man. Oh, so close. I can make him to grab the neutral buildings. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I think it's worth it because you grab them way earlier. Man, I need a gold mine. Like, give me my gold mine back. What the fuck? Tier 3 on mid. Wow, that is disgusting. Is that uh, pretty disgusting? Finally pushing back. He has two caster upgrades. Okay, so he attacked fast. Huh. Yeah, well, they're playing very weird strats. <laughs> Not rushing upgrades, but rushing tier 2 caster upgrade. Like, what the fuck is that, man? Blue is slightly ahead. He upgraded the barrack. Probably so my P rider. So the goal right now is to take the tier 2, I don't really, I feel like I never will upgrade the range damage. Um, yeah, I know, it's not really worth it in my opinion. But the range damage upgrades benefit to Headhunter and my extra unit, which is the Ward Bearer. But the damage is pretty pathetic, so like after, I know, 6 upgrades, they're gonna have plus 24, which is basically... Which is basically like uh, twice as their damage, but I mean, I don't know. They're not looking very promising anyway, so... It's kind of like, meh. You can save a lot of cash by not going for it. I just don't know, man. Like, it's very hard to say <laughs> if you need it or don't. Or not need it. I saw a lot of throw players not going for range upgrades. Just saving up and going for passives. Passives are pretty strong, indeed, so... Okay, let's stack. Uh, extra unit per wave. Or masonry. Yeah, we'll see about that. Green has uh, quite a little of mana. Like, he is lacking mana a lot right now. Yeah, I, I kind of want to go for double masonry. Play it safe for now. We need more gold. We need more gold. We need more gold. It's like I got my two masonry upgrades at minute three or four, and then I'm getting now these additional masonry upgrades at minute twelve. So. Blue has the most uh, gold, but that's because he invested into the middle tier 3, so subtract my 1.5 and he will have less than me. I don't, we, like, I, no, none of us need a tier 3 barrack on mid, so yeah, it's just like... I feel like it's a very bad choice to go for it right now, when everyone is competing. Human went for it as well, but like he's suffering from me. So like I don't know I know what he is doing to be honest. I know what he is doing. The guy kind of lets me have his gold mine, which is very good for me. I'm still fighting Knight though, even though he has such a stack of units. That's kind of like how and why, but okay. Oh yeah, now, extra unit has to be made. 
Uh, a roar would be nice. Yeah, roar would be nice as well. Uh, he got a devotion aura. Instead of armor upgrade, he bought devotion aura. That's like a question, question, question mark. <laughs> I don't know why. Would anyone go for that, to be honest? Makes a uh, little sense to me. Pretty little sense to me. I kinda wanna uh, get another upgrade on attack, but like the wave is coming. Can they push me fast enough? No, I don't think so. The wave gonna pop out. Is it like the matter <laughs> to, to not go for a uh, for for upgrades? I don't understand it. Why would you not go for the upgrades? I mean, he got caster upgrades at least, so yeah. At least that's something. Okay, let's get roar at least on low one. Nice. I feel like I'm fine. I hope I'm fine. I'm upgrading uh, mana regeneration for my main. Now let's upgrade attack more. And I just probably follow up with the upgrades. Uh, check if any of them upgrade into tier 3. Probably will not happen, right? Probably will not happen. Uh, the roster regeneration is uh, pretty good, but it doesn't benefit to my... Beast Rider. Well, okay, let's get it. Yeah, one point. One point is at least good. Continue with the upgrades. Yeah, I feel, I feel like uh, trolls can be very strong, but they need like time and lots of upgrades, you know, like tower upgrades and like upgrades in general. Kind of thinking about mind control, at least low one, so it procs sometimes, but I don't know. Burning oil is amazing, mind control is amazing, like max wood war uh, bearer is amazing. Uh, there are so many amazing things, honestly. Yeah. Like uh, Berserk with uh, Shredder Spears combo, uh, Roar maxed out, like Troll can, has one of the best late games, you know, Troll has one of the best late games in my opinion, but it's so hard to get to it, you know, it's very hard to get to it. I'm watching Naito if he is going for tier 3 or not. At least not yet, it looks like. He has a 3-3 free free upgrade. While we were having 6 free and going for the caster upgrade. Okay, I got the Trolls region. I don't know, maybe Roar again. Now. Probably not. Get more defense. I buff my mana regeneration by a lot, so mana should come back eventually. I have used like this uh, probably four times, and I used uh, the Voodoo Spirits once, right? But as you can see, it's still. 
A reasonable amount of mana. Like my mana regeneration is very good because of this. So I can continue using my uh, mana. For base defense instead of units or heroes. Okay. Tier 3 on me. We're gonna match it once I have cash. It's very good because I'm, I'm finishing with my armor upgrades and I actually will go for range upgrades now, yeah. I think. Human is suffering from my push. The guy got some upgrades finally. Thanks God, dude. It's free mercenary. I thought he would rush four upgrades on mercenary, but I know. Looks like not the case. Yeah, man, I'm so... It's like a bit earlier and I would have it in time. Okay, do free barrack. Like, he thinks he can actually deal with me with... Uh... Oh, he has 5 upgrades on base defense. Which also benefits to tier 4 units and trends. Okay. I thought he might have gotten this Griffon because he upgraded the barrack, but now it's just from the middle. This is a huge clusterfuck on the middle. Lots of lots of units. And us not having to free barrack. Okay, yeah, if I will see another Griffon, means he upgraded on me. Just looking for a second Griffon then, I guess. Has one low on poison. He knows how to play. Yo, I feel like he knows how to play. Okay. Well, it would be dangerous if he's going for tier 4 barrack on me, by the way. Two Griffons. Okay, he did upgrade. Then I feel like we do the same trick. We're gonna use the X spell and then upgrade on the top. So first Z spell, then X spell, yeah. down please and now okay I defend against both of them very very nice just need a tier free pair on top and we are happy Good. Now just continue with development. More range upgrades. Yeah, I have a lot of gold from new troops. <laughs> I was holding them for quite a while. So yeah. I feel, I feel like this is like one of the most viable strats to play Troll. Uh, just to the fact that you have this mana regeneration and you can always use the spells. I'm gonna upgrade to tier uh, 3, I will upgrade even further. I'm gonna have even more mana regeneration, I can defend myself even, even better with that. So, it's pretty good I think. Okay, more range upgrades. I feel like I'm gonna just go for uh, yeah, the max amount of time. I can before tier 3, which is uh, 8 upgrades, I think. I was thinking about upgrading mind control, at least on level 1, so I have it. If it procs, it's gonna be pretty funny. It's a 3% chance, but like, there are a lot of witch doctors sometimes, you know, so. Also, maybe uh, burning oil at level 1 too. Yeah, human is pushing me back, surprisingly. I don't know how that works, to be honest. 
Okay, let's get the building oil. I'm gonna stop on the passives here. Yeah. I'm gonna stop on the passives. After that, fuck it. It has a flame uh, arrows. I feel like the guys know how to play. They just uh, played very weird strat on the start, but aside from that, yeah, they know how to play. Guys has a uh, source of mana. Okay, fountain, so. He also can abuse his uh, spells a lot. Alright, okay, this guy is abusing devour magic plus the mana shield. It's a pretty interesting way of playing. It's a pretty interesting way of playing. I will try to bounce from the base defense. I know how he got so many casters, honestly. But he looks disgusting. Tier 4 barrack on me. <laughs> yeah, voodoo. What did I... Oh, okay. That's what it proked on. Use it on the back line. <clears throat> this guy's tier 4 is pretty strong <clears throat> because he has so many upgrades on base damage, so. in time. I really can't kill his stuff, man. Like, what the fuck? I gotta use it, I guess. Like, I know what else am I left to do. This amount of casters is just ridiculous. And on the bottom, we send a hero. I guess. Man, like the next wave is just gonna kill this one and I'm gonna get pushed again, I feel like. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. In the name of yeah, I should have not gone for Wood, I think. Wood was a mistake. I really want to upgrade to tier 3, but I don't think I can afford it right now. This one gonna stay tier 4 until he goes for tier 4 himself, so... Yeah, we'll see about that. Which hero? Uh, Nuker, right? The Shadow Hunter. Did he summon Tyrande on middle, by the way? Yeah, I know how you normally play Troll, honestly, like, after all. I have no idea. Very bad wave, by the way. I can't sa send my hero now properly. 
without killing it. Like right now, perhaps. Yeah, that should do. Hopefully. Just in case, man, because I got scared. Yeah, it was required. Well, he's still dying. Even under my base with uh, 8 upgrades. The trolls are weak or like... Man, I don't know. I feel like melee upgrades tier 4 rush with uh, Feral Roar maxed out would be the way perhaps. Okay, I don't know. Do you summon Ufta right now? Rohan. Fuck me. I just need I just need to throw everything I can to defend it. Otherwise it's going to fall. Well it did fall after all. Fuck me man. I don't know like what what did I do wrong in your opinion guys? What do you think about it? I feel like I yeah as a troll you because you have so many upgrades on towers, you end up purchasing too many of them and that's that's exactly what makes you so weak, you know? That's exactly what makes you so weak. May maybe you gotta rush your casters to tier 3. Like, Fork Lightning is very good in my opinion. Also a way, right? To play it. I see it coming. But I need to get mother regeneration off already. I mean, out, so... Maybe I will get it in time. Probably not, though. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Tier 4 barracks, perhaps. Tier 4 barracks rush. Range upgrades didn't play off, as you can see at all. So I got one point in this, one point in this, one point in this, one point in this, one point in this. Yeah, it could have been better. Well, minus towers will help me a lot to get my cash going. This is so dumb. The way that Ojin went down instead of defending the top. Usually I don't upload these kind of games, but because now I record like literally for YouTube, you know, I will upload everything. 
we upload literally everything, so... Let's keep on playing for now. Until we legitimately drop that. You know what, next time... As a troll... I'm not gonna go for masonry. Okay? I'm gonna rush... Uh, tier 2 barrack on mid. And melee upgrades plus defense. Then tier 2 barrack, tier 2 barrack. Then upgrade my main. Uh, rush upgrades again. Only upgrade Fear of Roar. Extra unit. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> this guy stayed, by the way. The guy stayed on, uh, on the middle, which is good. can get a defensive ultimate weapon, like a mana shield and uh, just sit on that, yeah. Probably will do. Probably will do. <laughs> I don't know, man. My units feel so ridiculously weak. Like, I had superior upgrades. But, by, by, like, uh, in the past, right? I, like, I you know, how, how is it possible? The guy has what level on the on the searing arrows? Yeah, I don't see it. It's level one searing arrows. <clears throat> I I can't tell what level is it on the mana shield. To be honest, uh, it's a uh, level three devotion aura, which I feel like is a complete waste, honestly, because. You just upgrade armor more instead and you're gonna benefit, but it's whatever. <laughs> Toran. It. Yeah, but same thing happened to me. The same thing happened to me, man. It was bad, isn't it? I want to upgrade. Got to let the hero out, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> AI is so weird. Do you see AI? Remember my intro? Like, should I be playing this version or not? Like, what the fuck is this AI? The guy was literally here. There is a knight of like right there, there is a torrent there and he goes up. For no reason. This is so weird, you know. Like you you're literally having no control on your army. Like what the fuck is this? It's like it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I feel like this meta is just to be super aggressive and you know be kidding everything. Voodoo doesn't proc too much, with only one point in it, by the way, as it seems to be the case. I'm out of mana on my main, so it's dropping that. I have no idea how it's, like, it's working. Its armor is increased. So, leaving armor 10 increases the armor by 10. So that's why he played Riot, huh? This is kind of broken, yeah. I like, uh, yeah, I like his threat. I like his threat. Looks pretty strong. So I don't have any waves on the bottom and top. Let's go with GP and leave. Alright, give me your thoughts guys. Uh, Troll's probably my worst race. I don't know how to play that race. Um, once again, my thoughts are... The way to play it, you probably should go for zero masonry, uh, rush mid with uh, a barrack. Then you 
like you make one upgrade and upgrade the middle barrack, upgrade the middle barrack first and go with full upgrade. Probably upgrade the middle first, then go for the damage upgrade. Um, then you upgrade on like another side lane, then you go for three upgrades on damage and three upgrades like one upgrade on casters, three upgrades on armor. Then you upgrade to tier 2, you get extra unit and Fero roar. And then you probably just upgrade your tier 3 very fast. Like I'm thinking about maybe the way to play it is a tier 4 barracks plus a, plus a tier 3 main very fast and you just send a super unit or something, you know, this kind of logic. Because I don't, I legitimately don't understand. Maybe like fork lightning on the witch doctors is the way. Because Hex is pretty useless, like hands down, right? So, yeah, you know what? You know what? I feel like that's a way. Yeah, that's a way. My foundation also would buff the the Witch Doctors a lot, right? So I should play just on Witch Doctors, in my opinion. Like Witch Doctors amplify their fork lightning and make them be in OP. So, yeah. because I wasted like I wasted gold on the mind control. I have wasted gold on the burning oil for the bad riders to make this uh, burning ground, burning uh, oil pa puddles be below the range units. I upgrade the uh, regeneration which doesn't benefit to my siege unit but benefits to my backline. I don't know if it's good or bad because I have already a healing wave uh, on the witch doctors. I also did upgrade what? Yeah, that's it. I also upgrade fear roar. Like, this, this range upgrades and masonry might have um, cucked me, because I, I can't reach the late game, I can't, like, I'm, I'm dying too fast, you know, I'm dying way too fast, so, yeah, it's pretty hard, man, it's pretty hard, I, I don't know how to play this race. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and i see you in the next one. Peace!